was starting my YouTube channel a mistake? Let's talk about that. Hello YouTube world, welcome Sunday subscribers, for those who know me, my name is KD, but if this is the first time you're seeing me, I will let you know who I am, a little bit of insight information, so that you can get a grasp on what this video is going to be about. I am a UK medical weed patient, I've been a patient for around about two years now, and around a year ago is when I decided to create content specifically on YouTube about being a patient in the UK medical community. My content has ranged from me just talking about prices or packaging sometimes of the product that we get to reviews of the physical product being the flower that we get from the clinics that we sign up to. So there's a range of information on my YouTube channel that I have done over the last year. And as we're coming up to a year, I thought it would be a great time to review this information and see whether I think it was a mistake to start this YouTube channel or whether I think you guys should start a YouTube channel yourself if you are somebody that's listening to me and you are one of those people who have commented on my videos. Bear in mind, there's a fair few people as, as well that have commented about wanting to start their own channel, doing the same thing, specifically flower reviews. If you are somebody who's listening to me that that applies to you, you may want to listen to the full extent of this video because we are going to touch upon subjects like that and I'm going to give you a raw, in-depth view into how me as a patient, right, specifically as a patient, tries to do this whole YouTube content thing. So I fully understand that there might be people that will click off of this video now because it's not the usual content that I do. It's not a flower review. It's not a news update. You know, it's not something all singing or dancing. But this is genuine right? This is genuine, raw information that I want to give to you guys because it's been a year now. So I feel that I have enough information behind me to be able to tell you truthfully how it is being a weed tuber. Okay, with that being said, let's get into the video. So why would one want to make a YouTube channel? In my opinion, I think there are three top reasons as to why someone would want to start a YouTube channel. The reason number one would be monetary value. So if you are somebody who understands that YouTube is a business and it can be a very lucrative business if you know what you're doing, research the fuck out of it and apply the actions to it. That is something that you can do. It may be overnight if you are a huge success or it could be over a, a term. However, that's one reason that someone might decide to start a YouTube channel is success and monetary value. The second reason may be purely because they just want to. They don't care about the monetary value. They don't care about being monetized, but they just want to show people their life. They just want to show everyday things that happen, vlogs, people going on walks and going to the beach or these places in the UK or wherever it is, and they just want to make people happy and put that out there. Second reason. The third reason I believe that people would start a YouTube channel is to inform people and give information over that the audience may get some sort of value from. Now, this is where I fall into this category myself, because obviously <laughs> I give you information from my own personal perspective of being a medical patient in the hopes that you might find some value out of it. And it may help you in the future, either make a decision or just if you were wondering about something and I may have already answered it. So when you've decided why you want to make your YouTube channel, you can then progress on to the next stage. So I will just say here that when I, so I've had my YouTube channel for a very long time, right, as you can see, but it's got content on there that I only really uploaded here and there and I didn't really care about it until last year when I decided that I really wanted to put my effort into it, okay? So I must tell you that what I did is I researched a lot. A lot of it was how to basically start a YouTube channel, you know, and insights as to what top people do to capture the attention and things like that so 
you will find that if you are one of these people that want the first option, which is the monetary value option, you will need to research heavily into how to do that. Because there are so many psychological things that go into a YouTube video title thumbnail that you, I can't even begin to tell you. So I wasn't going to go too deeply into that because I didn't care about the monetary value. However, I did want people to listen to me. I did want my video to get found. And I did want people to click on my video so that if I helped them, it would get found in the algorithm, right? So essentially what I'm saying is I did want growth on my channel. I wanted to succeed. So what I was looking into is how to build a successful community, how to build a successful channel. Ultimately, it comes down to finding your own niche, which is a topic a certain topic so in this case it is medical cannabis uh in the uk community and that would be your topic maybe as well so that would be your niche so you find that niche and then you learn about that right so what do the people want at the end of the day so i was looking at multiple other youtubers you know i don't need to name them you guys already know them you probably watch them already and it was looking at those youtubers and saying what can i do that is different that brings value right so it's putting your mindset into the audience okay so i very much went down the route of audience based instead of content based right so i pride myself in the community that we have and the fact that you guys are so tight right if there's any questions that somebody has someone's on it immediately like i don't even need to answer because people are just so smart and they're just you guys know so much and i love that and that is what i wanted so i'm glad that i was able to you know bring in a amazing group of people so thank you very much for that but without going off topic too much this is one of the best ways to grow your youtube channel is to grow an audience around yourself you know not necessarily the content that you do because if you want to shoot off and do other things go ahead and do that you know and then the people that genuinely do want to watch you for you will watch those those videos so there's a little tip there ab about about how sort of research will help you if you do want to succeed if you are somebody that just wants to put a video out just because you just want to put the video out, you don't care about views, you don't care about the algorithm picking you up or anything like that, then discount everything I'm saying because it doesn't matter. You can literally film whatever you want, put it out, and you may even get picked up by the algorithm, right? Like, you may. But for people that actually do want to have growth, then these are just some small tips I can give you. Right, so once you've figured out why you want to create your YouTube channel, and you've done some research around it the next thing is algorithm if you want to get found in the algorithm then arguably the most important things are obviously the title and thumbnail and you will hear it everywhere that the thumbnail is the most important and it basically is we now live in a world where we have social media everywhere so people just scroll 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 and you need to stand out in the way of all of the sea of thumbnails, some of them the exact same because people have copied. And you need to stand out and have somebody stop scrolling for a start if they're on their phone, then click your video, right? Then after they've clicked the video, you need to have them stay and watch your video, right? And then hope that they either like, comment, subscribe, okay? So there's all of these call to actions that you need to have the person watching your videos start to do from the get-go and that comes down to title and thumbnail so i'm not the best at any of this as you can probably tell however there is one thing that i do in my thumbnails which will probably become very apparent to you guys after i tell you what it is and that is the rule of three okay so what this means is that you should have no more than three elements in your thumbnail so what i usually do is i will have picture of me on the side one i'll then have a picture of the product or whatever i'm talking about whether it be a clinic's name the logo or a picture of the pot or packet whatever that i'm reviewing in the thumbnail two and then i'll have text which will say what it is and point to the whole idea of what the video is in a second. Three. That's it. 
three elements in your thumbnail maximum. And this actually comes direct from Mr. Beast. Um, I was watching, obviously, videos to do with YouTube, how to get found, blah, blah, blah. And this was something that he said. Regardless of the controversy that Mr. Beast finds himself in now, I'm not taken away from the fact of the success that he has had and obviously the wise words that he has spoken to help creators along the way. And this is very, very important because, again, it, it's all you need. It really is. All you need is three elements, just yourself, a picture and words. That's it. It tells the viewer immediately what they are to expect, along with a little bit of a title that kind of goes with it, maybe alluding to something else in it as well that you can't fit in the text on the thumbnail. So you've got this to think about. OK, but then you've also got consistency, which, again, is very, very important. So going back last year, I actually did two videos a week, obviously, um, and that was consistency. And that was good because there was a few videos that really did pick up in the algorithm and one of them really shot up and I got like 500 plus subscribers from that one video. It was insane. It was absolutely brilliant. And I was like, wow, OK, so it's working. What I'm doing is working. Right. So there is definitely some sort of technique in order to grow. Um, and this is definitely one of them. But we're going to switch now and we're going to switch to demonetization. So being a content creator around the topic that I create around is not what YouTube wants. And I found that out the hard way. So when I started doing my videos, like basically every single one of them was demonetized. Big fat yellow symbol, like, you know, not able to get monetized. This is after I've obviously hit my 4000 watch hours and, and all of the videos got monetized, even though it wasn't. They were all demonetized. So I was just creating videos just like normal, not really knowing, you know, what it meant. I knew that I weren't getting paid, but like that was all right because I wasn't getting paid before and it didn't really matter as long as people were seeing my videos and they were enjoying them. However, I then found out that actually demonetization isn't just about taking the money away from you. It's about stopping you being found in the algorithm too. So this was a big sigh. Um, so that's another thing you will have to think about if you are going to do this topic is you will not be able to show any flower. You mainly can't really say the word as well, to tell you the truth. None of it in the th uh, title or, or thumbnail, any of my thumbnails that have it in there, they're all demonetized. Um, so you have to work out how to do these things in order to reach the masses, right? It's a bit, it is a little bit of a mind fuck. All right. So let's quickly talk about time. So depending on obviously how well you want your video to be is how much time and effort you put into doing so. So you can put as little time into it as, as, as you want or as much time into it as you want. So when I started last year, I had a fair amount of time and I was very consistent in doing my two videos a week. Fast forward to this year and I don't have as much time as I did last year. I'm doing a project in the background that's taking up quite a lot of my time. And so now I'm very glad that I went down to one video a week. However, that is still a lot of time for me to put aside to do these videos. So however much time you have, you may only be able to allocate a small amount of time to do these videos. So. I just want you to be aware that if you are somebody that wants to put a lot of effort into these videos, you know, you've got editing that I've already spoke about, time that editing takes, you know, I don't edit my videos a lot, but it still takes a fair amount of time to go through it and make sure everything's okay. So just be aware that if you don't have a lot of time, then you have to space out your time equally, right? And then of course, you know, I'm gonna leave it on the comments. 99.9% .9 of my comments are all positive, but you are obviously going to get the 0.01% knobheads. It's just standard. It's the fucking internet, right? Like, it's just the way it is. Um, and I'm maybe a little bit blessed in the fact that I've been a content creator for so many years. I've built up this talent that I call it, uh, where I'm able to skim through a comment 
very quickly and my brain can take certain words from that and decipher whether it is a constructive criticism comment which i'll take absolutely uh, a positive comment or just someone being a dick you know um so for me when i'm going through my comments it's not really much of a battle or an issue for me to quickly skim through see replies to the people who are absolutely amazing and then just get on with my day but there are some people that unfortunately allow comments to fester within them and be aware that if you are somebody who does care what people have to say about you or you are not confident enough to be able to read the comments even if it is constructive criticism as well right like i'll take it if you've got something to say let me know how i can do better right if, if i'm doing something in, that you think i could do in a better way let me know you know i've said it before many times that i like to learn and people grow with learning right so like i'm not opposed to that at all but i am opposed to just idiot comments usually about other youtubers on my fucking channel it's like what the fuck i don't care i don't care no one cares um, but you know i'm just letting you know that that will be the case so as long as you don't give a fuck like me and you're just like yeah whatever mate i literally don't don't care literally don't care just put up what you want I, I applaud you to go ahead and do so, I really do, so gonna basically leave this video on the question, do I regret making this YouTube channel? Do I think this was a mistake? No, I don't. Even though it takes up a lot of my time, even though it's very taxing on my mind of having to do these things, of bringing up a subject every single week, creating a video for you guys, editing it, getting a thumbnail ready and all of that, all of the shit that comes with it, right? I still like to do it. I still like to do it. I love to see the comments. I love to see the community. I love to learn from people who are telling me things or just you know, I get so many comments from people that are like, oh, I've just found out about medical and I've just gone through your videos and now I feel confident enough to make that journey. And honestly, that just makes it all worth it. Even if there are some pricks that have so much time in the world, their life is miserable and they come on here to try and make you miserable that doesn't matter none of it matters the time the effort all of what you've done doesn't matter because someone has found value in what you have said they have taken on board what you've said and you've made their life better and that's a feeling that you don't get very often in life without doing good things and i think the troll's not exactly what i'm talking about because i don't think you get that feeling very often but having said that, I do think that you should, if you want to and feel comfortable to go ahead and create content like this, just please be advised that you will need to research the types of words that you can and cannot use, things like that. It won't matter until you really get monetized. Um, again, if you don't care about your video getting to the masses, then just keep it the way that you want to. But yes, I would like to end it in saying that with everything that goes down with being a content creator on YouTube, if you want to make a difference, if you want to help this community in becoming somebody that just gives over your opinions, doesn't give a fuck, and just has a good time in learning, seeing the community grow, and seeing this whole medical scene flourish, really, then go ahead and do it. I really do advise you to do it. If there's any questions, feel free, drop them in the comments. I will do my best to get back to every single one of you. And I hope you've enjoyed listening to this random raw cut of how it has been over the last year. There is a lot more I could have said, but the videos get too long as it is. So I'll leave it here. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more videos like this in your feed. And I will see you next week, probably with a review video.
And I'm thankful, and I'm thankful for the fans that love the listeners. Yeah, and I'm thankful, and I'm thankful even for the ones that don't believe in us.